Hello dancers, welcome back to our channel at Image Ballroom Dance Academy. I am coming to you today with the Maple in International Style Samba. Let's get going. Let's take a look at the footwork for your Maple in International Style Samba. I chose the one going to the right for the follower, but you have the option to do to the left. So we're going to start with the leader's footwork first. Please place your weight on the right. Left foot is to the side. We're going to cross in front with the left. That's your first time. Then you're going to reach with the ball with the right foot. Step onto it and cross the left foot for the second time. Now you're going to reach with the right foot in a circular manner. Step onto it and cross for the third time. And one more, you're gonna take the left, uh, the right ball of the foot to the side in the circle, step onto it and drop the weight with the left foot in front. So a little bit quicker, we have left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So the leader goes in a circular direction. Now let's take a look at the footwork for the follower. Our followers have a spot volta to the right at the same time as the leader goes around. So, followers, place your weight onto the left foot. Right foot is to the side. You're going to rotate back over the right shoulder and place your weight onto the right foot. So you're going to rotate and drop the weight to the right leg. You're going to continue to pedal with the ball of the left foot and you're gonna push and drop the weight for the second time to your right leg. Take the left foot in front, ball of the foot, pedal and drop the weight for the third time onto the right leg. And one more. Take the left ball of the foot, pedal, rotate and drop the weight onto the right leg for the fourth time. Let's take a look at that again. Weight on the left. We rotate backwards over the right shoulder, so here we go, and the first time onto the right, left, right for the second time, left, right for the third time, left, right for the fourth time. And that is the footwork for the maple going to the right for the follower. Let's discuss the timing for a maple in the samba. We will be using the volta timing, which is three quarter and quarter of a beat. So let's take a look at the leader side first. So if we use our numbers, we're going to take the left foot in front on the count one. So we go one. When we reach with the ball of the right foot, that is our count up. Ah, left foot in front, two, reach to the side on ah, and drop the weight, three, and one more, ah, four, onto the left leg. Let's try that again, a little bit quicker, one, ah, two, ah, three, ah, four. Now let's move on to the follower. We have the same timing in the follower, the volta timing, but obviously we're doing a spot volta instead. So place your weight onto the left followers, right foot is to the side, and we rotate and drop the weight on one onto the right foot. Pedal with the count ah, uh, ah, uh, drop the weight down two. Pedal with the ah uh, on the left foot, ah, uh, drop the weight down on three, and one more, pedal with the left foot, ah, uh, and drop down on four. Let's take a look a little bit quicker. We start backwards, ah, uh, one, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. And that is the timing for the maple. Now let's discuss some uh, tips and mechanics for your maple and the samba. I would like to focus more onto the shaping of the upper body since it is a rotary step. So let's start with the leaders first. Leaders, since your follower is in front and they're not going anywhere, 
I would like you to create a beautiful shape in your frame. As you are taking a step beforehand, I'd like you to shape the rotation of the upper body going to the left. So you're going to rotate that frame and then the feet are going to come after you. Up uh, three, up uh, four. It is a subtle movement, but it's going to shape the follower very nicely. So let's take a look one more time. So you go one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Now let's discuss the follower shaping. So followers, we're going backwards first onto the right leg. So the same application goes to you. I recommend the free arm to be very close to your body. And I usually suggest to put it on the lower back so it doesn't interfere with your leader. So you place it here and I would like you to rotate back over the right shoulder before you actually make a step. And one. And I like to look out beyond my elbow as well. A two. A uh, three, a uh, four. And on the fourth one, you can square up. Let's try that again. So I might start in an open position and then I want to make sure that I hug this arm. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. And that is a slight tip, small tip for your practice in the maple and samba. Now, I have invited my partner Rangel to demonstrate the maple going to the right for the follower so you can see what it looks like in a couple. So I'm going to place my back to you first with my right foot to the side and my leader has his left foot to the side and we go one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. And you can close the frame at the end, depends what step you have after. Let's turn around. Another perspective, and one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you on our next video.